accept what? When you accept Christ, you receive. So this morning, my question is, has everybody on the universe, do they have the Holy Spirit? Yes. The Holy Spirit dwells in each and every one. Because when we come to Genesis 2, we will see why I'm saying the Holy Spirit dwells with everyone. Let us hear the word of God in Genesis 2 and the verse is 7. And God, and the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed upon his nostrils and the bread of life and a man become a living thing. So beloved, Holy Spirit, he breathed on us through what? Our nose. So Holy Spirit, he is in everybody. But the question is, not everybody knows him. Why? Because most of the people, they have rejected salvation. And salvation is what? Our Lord Jesus Christ. So some of the people, the spirit of God is adamant. It is not working. It is not function. They, know, they don't know the Holy Spirit. And in reality, if you don't know somebody, it isn't easy to be with a person. The more you get closer and closer to the person, then you become a friend or there will be established of what? Fellowship. So most of the people, they don't know the Holy Spirit. But thank God, as you and I have accepted Christ as our personal savior, the Holy Spirit is in us. Before the Holy Spirit will come in the Old Testament and do whatever he has to do, and then he will go. But right now, this our age, this our generation, Holy Spirit live with us. Hallelujah. Amen. We give him all the glory. Amen. Today we have more scriptures to read. We turn our Bibles to Psalm 33 and the verse 6. Let us hear the word of God. By the word of the Lord, the heaven were made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. So it was the Holy Spirit who breathed on us, who gave us a life. He alone is inside of us. And one thing is, when you are filthy, there is no way Holy Spirit will come and do it. Because he's so holy. So he lived in a holy heart. So this afternoon, we have to know the life that we are living. Though we have accepted Christ, but still, we do so many things, many things of what? Sin. You are aware that the Holy Spirit in you does not want you to do this, but still you will do it. And the more you do that, the fellowship will be broken because he is so holy. And this is a temple for you and I that we dwell. And the more we give our heart to him and the more we fellowship, with the spirit of God, which is the Holy Spirit, the more he will reveal himself. As he said in Jeremiah 33, verse 3, he said, call unto me. I will show you some hidden things, mysteries. And who knows this? It is the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, he searches our heart. He knows our inside and outside. That's why he said, call unto me and I will show you and mighty things. Hallelujah. Amen. We give him all his glory. Amen. We continue. We are reading Psalm 104. And beloved, let's hear the word of God. Verse 29 and then to 30. He said, you hide your face. They are troubled. You take away the bread. They will die and return to their dust. You send forth your spirit. They are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Beloved, 
let us see. He said, you hide your face. They are in trouble. When Holy Spirit depart from us, beloved, there is nothing we can do. Yeah, it is the Holy Spirit that gives us the breath. It is the Holy Spirit that we move our being through him in our daily activity. That's why Psalm 104 is telling us that when he hides his face, they will be filled. They will be in trouble. <laughs> Beloved, when we run into trouble without the Holy Spirit, which is our comforter, which is our guide, which is our friend, which is our teacher, who are we turning to? There is no other way because he knows everything, the deeper things that is in us, the Holy Spirit, he searches every heart. So this afternoon, Psalm 10430 is saying, telling us, you will send forth the spirit that they are created. You will renew the face on the earth. So without this generation, without the Holy Spirit, there is no way we can move our being. Without the Holy Spirit, there is nothing we can do. He was in the creation and he was wavering on the face of the earth. And let us know that by that time, we as a human being, God has not done what he has to do in Genesis. That he said, let us create a man like the image of me. And they did. So this afternoon, it is only the Holy Spirit. And as a believer, you don't need anything else. It is the Holy Spirit that will teach you the word of God. And we need the word of God. We have to study the word of God and then pass it on. And the more we know the word of God, it will be a symbol that we know him. And beloved, how do we know that our spirit bear that we have the Holy Spirit? Let us turn our Bible to Romans 8, and then we will see what the Holy Spirit is telling us. Romans 8, 16. Let us hear the word of God about how our spirit bear with the Holy Spirit. And let us read. The Spirit himself bear witness with our spirit that we are children of God. So beloved, without the Holy Spirit, are you part of God, that God knows you? Our spirit has to be in tune with the Holy Spirit. He knows it. And as you have accepted him, he will come and dwell. That's why he is asking us in Romans 8 and the verse is 16, that the spirit himself, the Holy Spirit, that dwell in you, bear witness that you are a child of God. And beloved, we know this our body is three. The soul, the spirit, and this body. So our soul and the spirit of God, they are together. And this body try to fight, to take over. And there is no way this body can overtake the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. We give him all his glory. So we continue with Isaiah 61 and the verses 1 and 2. Let us hear the word of God concerning the work of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord, this is Isaiah 61 and the verses 1 and 2. The Spirit of God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good tidings to the poor. He has set me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim the liberty of the captive, and to open of the prison those who are bound. Beloved, it is the Holy Spirit 
that's in us. And he come when you accept him, he knows you, fellowship with him, he will anoint you. And this anointing will break the yokes. This anointing will break the cages. This anointing, the door that the devil has shut before you, with his anointing, it will break every yoke. So he is telling us, the spirit of the Lord, we need it upon us to do the work of God so that we be anointed and then to preach the good news to the poor, those who have not heard the news, those who doesn't know Christ. And the more we go there, it isn't our power, it isn't our mind, it is the spirit of God who will lead us. Whatever we say, it's not our own, but rather it is from the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We, we give him all his glory. We continue. He is a good God. And all the time, we need the Holy Spirit to guide us in everything we do. With him, all things are possible. We continue. Jeremiah 17 and the verses 9 and 10. Let us hear the word of God. The heart is deceitful above all things. So beloved, when you don't have the Holy Spirit, you are being deceived. And there is nothing that Satan can give it to you. We need the Spirit of God to guide us in our daily basis. We have to fellowship with the Spirit of God. What we have to do, where to go, because he knows the way. That's why Christ said, I am going, but I will send the comforter to come and be with you. Holy Spirit will, 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 will judge us. Holy Spirit, whatever sin we do, he converts us. So we have to be aware. We are living with the Holy Spirit. So far as we have accepted Christ, our personal savior, and without the Holy Spirit, there is nothing that you and I can accomplish. So beloved, let us be faithful and serve our God and the Holy Spirit, our comforter will be with us in our daily basis. But without him, there is nothing we can do. We need the Holy Spirit. He is our friend, our teacher, our comforter. Anything we need, he will teach us especially the word of God. He will let us understand. And this is what we need so that the more we, knew, we know the word of God, it yeah. will transform a life. It will also change yeah. it. And also our children, as we bring them into the word of God, when we are dead and gone, they will use the word of God and the word of God will direct them. Hallelujah. Amen. We said, Almighty God, we read in Matthew 10 and the verses 19, 20. Let us hear the word of God. But this is by our Lord Jesus Christ. But when they deliver you up, do not worry about how or what you shall speak. For I will give you I will give unto you the hour what you should say, 20. For it is not you who speak, but the spirit of your father who speak in you. Beloved, you will be in a problem or you will be in a situation. It is the Holy Spirit that you need. He will come and intercede for you. You might be in a situation that there is no way. It is the Holy Spirit. That's why Christ is saying, we should not worry about how we should speak. When we allow ourselves, when we yield for the Holy Spirit, he will do everything for us. He will speak on our behalf, even in prayer. You tell him, I don't know how to pray. 
the Holy Spirit will give you the utterance. And the Bible, Father, I am here, Spirit of God. I want to know your word. He will teach you because he's the greatest teacher. And with him, there is nothing he cannot do for us. So Christ is telling us this afternoon that for he will give us the hour what to say. When we go out there to preach the word of God, it isn't us, it is rather the Holy Spirit who is speaking through us, who will give us the word so that the word will come out. And the, 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 the person who is hearing the word will be transformed because the Holy Spirit will touch that hand. So beloved, we need the spirit of God in everything. We have to fellowship with him all the time. It is him alone as a believer we need. And beloved, as a believer, there is something that every believer has, and it is the seal of the Holy Spirit. And beloved, as we all know, when you buy, when you want to send a letter, and then you put a stamp on it, can you take it out? Can you take the stamp out? No way. So same thing, Holy Spirit is a seal over every believer. And this is a guarantee because we have accepted Christ, our personal savior, and we are living a holy life because God is coming to take his sin. Not those who go to church, not those. That's why he said, they call me, but I don't know them. That's why he said, not all knows me. Those who know him are those who are righteous, those who are living a clean life, those who study the word of God, those who fellowship with the Holy Spirit. So beloved, let us know the spirit of God is here for us because when Christ was living, he said, I am living, but I am going to the father, but I won't leave you orphans. Yes, he knows we need the spirit of God because our strength cannot make it. And without the Holy Spirit, the enemy will torment us. If, without the Holy Spirit, we will be in a situation that there will be no out. But with the Holy Spirit, our comforter, he will guide us. Like someday, if you are down, you talk to him. He will lift you up through maybe his way, by praying, he will give you a quotation. By praying, he will let you know the word you speak or the word that will help you to lift you up. So without the Holy Spirit, there is no way we can make it. We need the fellowship. We need the friendship. We need our guide. He is in control. This end of this generation, our age we are living in, it is the Holy Spirit. So beloved, let us know that the Spirit of God is so unique. We continue in John 16 and the verse is eight. Let us hear, this is by our Lord Jesus Christ. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and the righteousness and of judgment. Beloved, when Holy Spirit is around us and when we do something wrong, he is the one that will convict us and tell you, this is a sin. You might think it is good, but inside us, Holy Spirit searches. Holy Spirit knows it, that what you have done, it is a simple and abomination. So beloved, let us know the word of God. And he came to this world, but not so many people know the spirit of God. Why? Because they rejected salvation. Second, they don't know Christ. They are doing their own thing, but everything has an end. The day is coming 
whatever you were doing, it will be too late. And this is the day that we have to accept Christ as our personal savior. And the spirit of God will come and do it in a daily basis. You will talk to him in a daily basis. You pray to him, you fellowship. And the more you get closer and closer, all the mystery things, all the hidden things that you don't know, he will let you know. We serve a mighty Jehovah. The spirit of God is Christ. So beloved, let us be aware. We continue, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We continue with Acts, the book of Acts 36. Let us hear the word of God. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God made this Jesus whom they crucified, both Lord and Christ. So our Lord is Christ. His same name is Christ. You know, the first name, the first name is Christ. The same, his same name is G, Jesus Christ. It's Christ. So Christ is our Lord. And without him, there is no way we can make it in this life. Beloved, we continue in the book of uh, Corinthians. And let us hear the word of God. First Corinthians 6 and the verse is 19. Or oh, do you not know your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who dwell in you, who you have from God, and you are not of your own. Beloved, this is a temple where the Holy Spirit dwells. So, Paul is telling us, do you know that this, your body, is a temple of the Holy Spirit? Yes, he has to live in us, not a filthy place, but rather the body which is clean, the body which is holy, the body who is separated from this world that you have made up your mind that I want to set myself apart from ungodly things, from wicked ways, something that will block me. So the Holy Spirit will come and do it. He is our guide. That's why he is telling us, don't you know, this body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes, when you do things that is abomination unto the Holy Spirit, there is no way you quench him. So there is no way he can be in a filthy place. Something that you are aware that you know you are not supposed to do, but your intention or your mindset, you have done it. So the spirit of God will live. So beloved, this temple, we have to keep it clean. For the Holy Spirit to dwell, our comforter to dwell, so that day and night, the fellowship will be strong. And anything that we know, we don't know, he will reveal it for us to know. This is the work of the Holy Spirit to set us apart and everything has to be clean for him to dwell. Hallelujah. Amen. We give him all his glory. We give him all his honor. We have two more scriptures and then we will finish. We are reading 1 John and the verse is 27. Let us hear the word of God. But the anointing which you have received from him abide in you. And you do not need that anybody teaches you. But as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things and the truth, and it's not a lie. And yes, it is has taught you you will abide in him. Hallelujah. Beloved, when the Holy Spirit abides in you, 
it gives you what? The anointing. And it is the Holy Spirit who will teach you the word of God. And it is the Holy Spirit that will tell you the truth. And the truth is the Holy Spirit, the comforter. There is no other way that the Holy Spirit is a good teacher. And when Holy Spirit teaches you, you don't need anyone to teach you because he will let you understand the word of God. And this is the word of God, you and I. We need this in our life so that we can abide with him forever. As Jesus is in heaven, but the spirit of God is with us on this earth right now. He is the governor of the land. And this is where people have to seek God and accept Christ as their personal savior. And the Holy Spirit will come and dwell upon any life, whoever invites him. As the Bible says in Revelation 3.20, Jesus said, I stand at the door knocking, whoever open, I the Lord, I will come and dine with the person. It is the spirit of God. The more you invite him, he will come in. So beloved, let us be aware that this is what the Holy Spirit wants every soul to do or to have, but yet people have ignored. Hallelujah. Amen. We continue. Our last scripture is uh, Ephesians, the book of Ephesians. Ephesians 1 and the verses 14, 13, 14. Let us hear his word. That in him you also trusted after you have heard the word of the truth, the gospel of the salvation in whom you have believed and you were sealed with the Holy Spirit. It is a promise who is a guarantee of the inheritance until the redemption of purchase, possession to the praise of his glory. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So beloved, I say, a believer, I say, elect the saint of God. The Holy Spirit is a seal over us. That's why sometimes when the enemy see that you are a genuine child of God or a saint, there is no way they can do whatever they will do because greater you see that is in you. That is the spirit of God in you. So he is telling us that this gospel our guarantee is nothing but the Holy Spirit. So it is a seal. Like I said, it is like mailing a letter. Then you put a stamp on it. There is no way you can take the stamp out. So the more the Holy Spirit, we have the seal, it is a guarantee that the Spirit of God is in us. And how is he in us? Like I said, in Romans, 8, 16, our spirit bear witness with the Holy Spirit. So beloved, it's God who has done this for us. He is a good God. He didn't leave us as an orphan. He didn't leave us where the, we cannot turn around. The Holy Spirit is there. It's our comforter, our teacher, our guide, a friend and he move our being. Anything we want to do, we have to go. And we have to ask, Spirit of God, am I doing the right thing? Does it please you? We have to talk. It's a fellowship daily. We have to talk to him. Anything, as a child of God, we cannot do anything on our own. Like the scripture said, that we are not on our own. No, the Holy Spirit is with us. So it's a matter of what? Communication, fellowship in a daily basis. And the more we get closer and closer, 
the mystery which is hidden, he will reveal it because he searches all the heart, the deeper things, the things that maybe you have forgotten, he will remind you. So this afternoon, these are the works of the Holy Spirit. And the last of it, we read this last scripture and we'll be over. This is Galatians 5.22. The Holy Spirit, the fruit, we are as children of the Most High. We have to bear this fruit. And this is Galatians 5 and the verse is 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such, there is no law. When we acquire all these fruit, we will bear good fruit because it's love. Because he is joy. We have to enjoy the Holy Spirit in daily basis. He will talk to you. He will talk to me. So it is a joy. His fruit, it is a joy. And also peace. The more we have the Holy Spirit. That's all we need. We commune with him in daily basis. So the inner peace, we will have it. And also long suffering means patient. The more we are with him, we have to be patient. We all know when he was arrested and they took him to Palato, he did not open his mouth. Our God is so good. Our God is so merciful. Our God is so kind. And all the time he teaches us the way. So beloved, let us know. And also be kind. We have to be kind. To do kindness is one of his truth. So we have to bear. And also, we have to do good. Goodness to abide in us. It's part of the fruit. We cannot take joy. We cannot take love and leave goodness. They go in hand. So this afternoon, he is telling us, to be gentle. The Holy Spirit is gentle. So this afternoon, he is telling us the fruit that you and I, as children of the Most High, the one who has called, that's why we seek him in daily basis. He wants us to bear the fruit. And the more we bear the fruit, we can take it outside and preach the gospel so that we can win, so for him, so that our God's kingdom will be nothing but full of people. So this afternoon, this is what God wants us to know, that the Holy Spirit is in charge. He is the governor at this end time. We thank him for his way. So without him, there is nothing we can accomplish. But with Holy Spirit, he will teach us. And we will know all oh, what he wants us to know through his way. And we will study his way and pass it on. So this afternoon, we thank God for giving us the message about the works of the Holy Spirit. We give all the glory to our God. Amen. 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 So beloved, we are going to stand up. The word came to be a head. The work of the Holy Spirit. So this afternoon, we cannot do anything without the Holy Spirit. We need him. Wherever we fall short, we are going to go to the Holy Spirit and tell him that we need you to fill us up because you live, we move our being through you, our direction, somewhere we are going, that there is not good. He will direct us. So this afternoon, in feeling of the Holy Spirit, this is what we need. Shall we pray and tell the Holy Spirit? We need the infilling, infilling, infilling. Let us pray. In the name of you, please.
Yes, the word came that the Holy Spirit, when it comes upon you, if you are a child of God, he will anoint you. So this afternoon, his anointing, what does he do? He breaks the yokes. So we are telling the Holy Spirit, any yokes of burden that is around us, may the Spirit of God break it in pieces. Because he is with us. All the yokes, all the burdens, all the things that affect us. Oh, you want to say it? So this afternoon, so what? Let us pray with the Holy Don't have Spirit. Work. And okay. every day that to be broken. You are not going to be broken. You are not Make <laughs> I do I don't Yes, <laughs> For years to be more, for years to be more, and I didn't come from Miss Low, I don't go from Miss Low, or my mom. 
Deliver me. Prayer, then I will hand it back to our prophet. Beloved, there is a foundation everywhere. In your house, I don't know about yours, but I know about my foundation. That's my foundation is nothing on God. My foundation is nothing but fetish. They, my, my, my generation, when I was growing up, is nothing but fetish they say. So this afternoon, if I have the privilege and the Holy Spirit is with us. Let us go to that house. That's the foundation of our mother, the foundation of our father. Let us, the Holy Spirit, destroy everything so that everything in that house that has been around us from generation to generation, he fetches everything so he knows it. So we are going to go in a prayer. Holy Spirit is our guide to enter into our family, our father's house and our mother's house, so that every you will be broken. Let us pray. I <laughs> Mamifimo, <laughs> <laughs> 
When the word of God came, he said, when we go out there, the Holy Spirit will speak. That means when we go to witness, uh, it isn't our mind. God. It isn't by our power. Hello. It is the Spirit of God. Let us pray intercessory prayer for those who are bound. For those up to now, they don't know Christ. And imagine it, it, in your years, maybe you are in all these years, you don't know Christ. When the trumpet sounds, it will be too late. So let us, with one accord, intercede for them and also pray for the sick around the whole world. Let us intercede for them. And <laughs> Thank you. 
against this ministry. And also we praying for our prophets. The man God has called and nobody can stop him. We call because he is the one who has called his servant and the family. And also pray for yourself. Whatever you need from the Holy Spirit, you will do it. So let us go to God and then we turn to God. Let us Prophet, <laughs>
Okay, prophet. Amen. Amen. Beloved, where we are now, if you need a corporate prayer, you can ask. Or if there is any testimony, you can share with us. Prophet. Yeah. Ah, Daddy Moses, Apom. We say, say, ye group ring in a monkey and pie, bo, ma'am, not a beer, why am I red? The beer just said, I drink the dorsal. If you get to a beer or to make any baby, that co op program, but I soon go on, also, nursing care. And yet, near Dinny, I mean, open the sun with Mukran can name to me, Maso. Tears, Ramon, Kai, and Pibona, and your main man of wording. Yo, yeah, yeah, Mammy, Jim. Oh, yeah, 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 Beloved, with one accord, our dear brother in the wife, this lady, the sorrow in her heart is so overwhelmed. So this afternoon, our brother is asking about corporate prayer for the wife so that the Holy Spirit will touch her and then she will have inner peace in her soul. You want to I <laughs> Almighty Jehovah. You created our dear mother, but you know her more than anything else, like mm -hmm. even herself, she doesn't know. You are the ancient of days, the captain of our salvation. Mm -hmm. Father, anything, any deposit that the devil has planted in the heart, spirit of sorrow, this has mm -hmm. come against you with mm -hmm. all your devices. In the mighty mm -hmm. name of Jesus, we destroy Amen. and every devices of sorrow may it be broken Amen. by the Amen. of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So that our Amen. mother will have the inner peace and the joy, and she will come back and testify. Oh, that, beloved, let us see Amen. what God has done. Amen. May the Amen. will of God be upon our mother's life. 
In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Okay. I want to ask her with uh, 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 Prophet, Miss Mimi Your mama Vera. Pacho, Mimi Ampaibo, Edi Ama, me ba Emmanuel. Meti and sign we are new we know as a now on fa and fna and pie bosuna on fine yeno and frisa adino. You are no bonfire, my dear, will be a Sarado and who grew with the banana. You are doing for the name of the bonfire, and the dry in my bower and you are not in the matter of the bonfire. I did you have a crime, my friends. I have the owner, but it is an issue. So I did even if you have to be allowed. I did not know I did not know so Jamai, a pump to say Boko Prophet, Yamiadum. Mommy, who are Yamiadum? Who are you? Babacra. Are you my home, Miss Corner? My wish, what we do, and the Radia Sepa. Your mama, Gloria, Fansa, too. I mean, so Jamai, Mom Piaman, why? I didn't ask to me for a bomb pie with Jesus Christ, a demon, and the mama, you a dear a bow and name. I am a bay. Papa saw said, Before you near, you're my mistress in a mu near yet to buy a before I could shame. She said, If you near my entering in our home, but the man. Amen. I need a corporate prayer about where God will locate me. I want God to help me to find a place. New location. I need a place very urgent. So I am asking for prayer. God will have mercy upon me. Yes, <laughs> 
Jesus Christ, I dear you now sit to Funya Kupon or Radimeda was saying. Amen. For me, the memory, I mean, Nipidiana Kuma Bowen. I do want to go before me, my mission. I just want a brabum or Radi Fru. But come to be a pan and your first jam out, Jenny. Amen. I dear you now, when I may throw you to Amen. Amen. Yes, you better. Thank you. Amen. I'm a yes, you better. Why? Your contract, amen. Yeah, the right. If I'm a choice, we'll be full flow on pipe bar. This will be sad. Beloved, if anyone has a prayer request, they can bring it. Papa, so for me, me, who never would yell me the cry. Mamma, Pania, no, I saw all back when I can one eye. Ah, you all want it, I Oh, Baya for June. For June, say any move. I get almost a month now. I move and Jawa Saka Sabre, who was his own so. Let's say, I am a home pie. Who was your? Was it? Who was your? But I found Satos and I'm a mom pie, my son, I have to wait. You may be in this. Okay, maybe in Satos. Jesus Christ, I dear you now sit in Fuenya and Copon, I rather made our say. Amen. Copro for only I are a sign. I rather on Copro for Sakami, my me, man, and more than son. Amen. When I may throw on Copro Buffo, sweating sway can and one, my other son, Saint Janine, and when I may throw with Yesu, did the more. Amen. 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 If I'm a chummy and you now fire and son to your coma, so near my mamma, my mamma, my a crumb crumb or crumb crumb. Jesus. What too many are what in your dear? Yes, and then you say, I dear, why am I? Mamma, Nabawa knew me a bit shake, Yabobo, a good name. Why you be be all your nana? What you need to know? Now you be so bay. Now why you so? Yet you are said that. Yet you are ye. Yet you are said. I can say a young coupon on one point to me. Yet I was say, send them so. Why am I? When I a goosa, I will yes to Christo Jimo. Amen. Amen. A pamato go on so a pessy a boss on fire on fans. If someone has water, they can take the water. That's why I have that in France. And my departure so bet you may be a man, I come up that in France. The mic not do. Mimi, where are you going? Yo. So, Obu, you are passing your boss in Paya. I'm going to tell my family. Yo, so for mommy, you as bomb. One of the things I my dinner. I am here. And I am here. 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 Then she and she your moja, the moja and so for my and from papa. And then she and I yay, for my dear, or we didn't share the beer. Mamma, who to me and Edgy. Now we will say Christo, we are dear in our papa. And you and I, for my dawasi. For my you are yet, for my come for. So we to me are dear in I. When I ever busa, I will we yes to Christo with him. Amen. 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 
Obi pesi o tia ne taita no pesi o bo azu mu so otime boa. Amen. Amen. Abia ya do. Beloved, the the month is almost ended. So concerning our tithes and offerings, it is time for us to pay. So if anybody wants to help concerning the Zoom, they can also help. And Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And in two more days, so I can so we will make Prophet, Mammy, Prophet, Ah, Mrs. Bye-bye. 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 B